In this video we are going to understand the complete working of a very interesting single MOSFET AC solid state relay, which can switch AC loads safely using only one MOSFET on the DC side of a bridge rectifier. So referring to the circuit diagram on your screens, we can see the circuit starts with a PC817 optocoupler. This optocoupler gives full electrical isolation between your low voltage control input and the high voltage switching section. Initially, as long as the input control voltage is absent, the optocoupler's internal transistor remains switched off, which allows the external BC547 to get a base bias through its base 1K resistor, and this keeps it turned on. While the BC547 turned on, its collector is held at ground potential, causing 0V to the MOSFET gate, so the MOSFET also stays switched off, which in turn keeps the load also switched off. When you apply the input control voltage, the LED inside the opto turns on. This makes its internal transistor conduct. And this conduction pulls the base of the BC547 transistor down to ground, turning it off. When the external BC547 switches off, its collector side becomes open, and this allows a 15 volts positive voltage to enter through the 1N4148 diode to reach the MOSFET gate, turning it on. As soon as the MOSFET is turned on, the load is also switched on, and it starts switching through the 220V 50Hz, AC supply, and the bridge rectifier. So the job of the PC817 is, to safely transfer your control signal to the switching transistor without letting high voltage come back. The 100 microfarads capacitor ensures that MOSFET gate receives a clean DC and not a pulsating DC. So the BC547 works like a small amplifier and a gate switch. Now let us see how the MOSFET gate gets its 15V DC voltage. A 68K resistor from the high voltage DC line feeds a small current into the 100 microfarads capacitor. The 15 volt Zener diode clamps the voltage at a safe 15 volts. So this small power section creates a free and isolated MOSFET gate drive supply without using any separate transformer or SMPS. This gives the MOSFET a stable 12, 15V drive whenever the BC547 switches it. This MOSFET is the actual power switch, but it is not connected directly to AC. Instead, it sits on the DC output of a diode bridge. This is the main trick. Because the AC is first rectified, the MOSFET sees only one polarity. So even though the load is on AC, the MOSFET is switching pulsating DC. This allows a single MOSFET to act like a bidirectional AC switch. When the MOSFET is on, the AC load gets full AC power. When the MOSFET is off, the load receives nothing. No body diode problem. No reverse conduction issues. Everything works cleanly because the bridge handles polarity. The 41N5408 diodes create a diode bridge. This bridge does just one thing. Whatever the AC polarity, it converts it into positive DC for the MOSFET. The load is still on AC, but the MOSFET sees DC. This allows us to use one MOSFET instead of two back-to-back -back MOSFETs like in traditional SSR designs. To protect the MOSFET from inductive spikes coming from fans, motors, or transformers, we use an RC snubber. This prevents spark-like high-voltage spikes and increases MOSFET lifespan. So bro, here is the complete sequence in short. You apply control signal. PC817 turns on. BC547 turns on. MOSFET gate receives 12. 15V. MOSFET turns on and passes rectified DC. Load receives AC and turns on. When control is removed, everything turns off smoothly. This gives a low cost, isolation safe, and very efficient AC SSR design using just one MOSFET. So, this is how the whole single MOSFET AC SSR works in a very simple and smart way. If you like this explanation, please give a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more practical and powerful circuit tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.